The views and opinions on this show do not necessarily reflect the views of ESPN Tucson 1490 AM, 949 HD Channel 4, or the Arizona Lotus Corporation. Spears and Ali, weekday morning, 7 to 9 on 1490 AM, 94.9 HD4 ESPN Tucson. Not a time to pull off the shot. We're going to overtime. And Mr. Backer, you're quite prophetic. And we're live. Spears and Ali, overtime. Greetings, beautiful people of Earth. We're joined by Jamie Donnelly. From This Is Tucson, right? Yes. And you're a food critic? Yes. Got a thousand questions for you. <laughs> Get prepared. Got our show producer, Andrew Trujillo. Yep. And we got one shy, sweet tomato, Justin Spears. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. That looks so stupid. Totally impromptu. <laughs> that was not staged at all. We are very spontaneously hilarious. You didn't well call me done. by my name. Sweet tomatoes? Dulce tomato. Dulce. No, no. Al Bondigas. Al Bondigas. That's your your food critic pseudonym. (laughs) Yes. Pseudonym, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think that's Surname. Surname. No, surname is like your last name. Yeah. That would be Bondigas. Yes. Bondigas. Bondigas. Al Bondigas, food critic. You got to like look like a detective and smoke cigarettes. (laughs) (laughs) Because when um, we announced that we were going to have Jamie Donnelly come on the show, you thought that was me because i said we have a food writer at the arizona daily star who does a great job for this is tucson right like oh are you jamie donnelly i'm like no 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 (laughs) jamie donnelly's a real person it's not me i'm not just putting on a wig going full mrs doubtfire yeah but i can we got a wig i don't think you should i don't think you should i think like the two jobs that would lead you to an early death are being a food critic and going (laughs) out to eat every night you do that enough on your own (laughs) the only if you had like an unlimited budget that would be terrible uh, a traffic reporter would be terrible for you too, because you're just uh, you're a nonsensical, overly abrasive, overly emotional <laughs> Damn. driver. Thank you. You're welcome. No, it's okay. You're welcome, <laughs> Jamie. I got to ask you. Hold on, before we talk to Jamie, I got okay. Oh, got, brought to you by. We got to do the important stuff. Yeah. So our sponsors. This over. Thank you. This overtime brought to you by <laughs> Tucson Federal Credit Union. Better to bank. Better than your bank. Right way. Heating, cooling, and plumbing. You want to talk about triple threat position in basketball? Shooting, passing. What's the other thing you can do? Dribbling. <laughs> do you even watch sports? Yeah, <laughs> fair. Right way. Heating, cooling, and plumbing is your triple threat for anything that you need in your home to keep you cold, keep you warm, or make sure it flushes. And then you've got, <laughs> speaking of flushing, don't flush your money down the drain. If you're going to get a mortgage, you're going to refinance your house. Go to Paul Volpe at Nova Home Loans. He will save you money so you don't flush any of those sweet dollars down the drain, down the toilet, right? Australia goes the other way. Did you know that? And then it goes clockwise for us and counterclockwise in Australia. Little known fact. Uh, But Paul Volpe, not just great mortgage lender who works for a great mortgage company. You hear that, Matt Ishbia? Yeah. You're, you're focused in the wrong place with Rocket Mortgage and Dan Gilbert. Your competition is Paul Volpe and Nova Home Loans. They're dominating you. Uh, also, that company and that individual, Mr. Volpe and Nova, do amazing things in the community, as does Right Way, as does Tucson Federal Credit Union. Do business with the businesses that make your community a better place. And with that, Justin, Jamie Donnelly, yeah, food critic, question number one, you come in. You look like you're in really good shape. You're skinny. <laughs> and I'll look over there. <laughs> and I look at you. How do you maintain? How do you maintain? Are such you asking a, her why is she the food critic and not me? No. I'm like, how do you maintain a a good, healthy, physical appearance while being a food critic who's supposed to eat a lot of food? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, I'm not eating out every single day. Um, I definitely try food at least twice a week um, because I have to get content for Instagram and stuff. And then maybe I'll go and get food for like a story or something. But Uh it's not like every single day I'm eating pizza and burgers and wings. Right. (laughs) Did you hear that, Justin? Moderation. (laughs) From the food critic. Hey, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. (laughs) Yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah, got to let those bosoms breathe, huh? So... (laughs) 
<laughs> Second question I have is <clears throat> when you go into a restaurant, look, obviously the owner could be very sensitive about how you rate their food, their service, everything. You obviously don't tell them who you are when you come in, right? Mm-hmm. But if you did, would you get a discount? <laughs> Um, maybe, but I'm not allowed. That's very unethical. It's unethical, I'm not right? To do that. <laughs> There's a moral of story number two for you, Justin. <laughs> Ethics. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why do you call me Rupert the Reporter? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I mean, everything I say about you, and as much as I make fun of you, it cannot. It pales in comparison to the way you look right now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> But have you? Is immense. No, but have you? Uh, have you ever written anything that got kind of a, a very emotional response? Um, like if a restaurant person got mad at me. Yeah. No, I mean I I. Or they started crying because you yeah. you're, you're such a great writer and you were so eloquent in how you described their <laughs> their establishment. Um. No. Usually, I'm not so much doing like food critic stuff if i am just like highlighting people profiling them and um kind of showing the community what they're doing so i've never had anybody like mad at me okay um but usually when i write stories about people they'll text me and they say thank you so much or like we really liked your story or people came by and said that they read the story and they wanted to try us out so that's always really nice to hear so you're not giving grades out no oh, yeah. man you got to start doing that i and, know you know <laughs> <laughs> right Great, stir some yeah. controversy. I mean, you're going to highlight a restaurant, right? I don't want you to call anybody out here mm-hmm. unless you want to. But, I mean, when you go in and the waiter or waitress, like, it takes them 20 minutes to even say hello and get you a glass of water. Mm-hmm. I mean, and then the food tastes like, uh, what is it, chicken poop stew, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, how do you – I mean, have you been in a situation where it's like, I got to highlight this restaurant, and frankly, <laughs> they were fucking terrible? <laughs> no. No? Also, I think that – in high school, I was a busser, so, like, a waiter could, like, spit on me or kick me, and I'd be like, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, like I, I'm very, <laughs> like, I'm very sensitive towards service people. I, I always tip. I would never, ever make a fuss. I would just take it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you always tip the same amount, or do you tip more if they do a really good job? And what's your floor for tipping? Uh, floor, I would say 20%. I okay. always tip 20%. Yeah. And you tip more than 20% if it's good, or do you just keep it at 20%? I usually just keep it at 20. 20. Yeah. 20. 20 is a floor. 20. Hey, we, we, were, we all worked in the service industry. I worked, you know, I understand. Like, they work really hard. But sometimes, <laughs> I've never not, not, don't tip at all. Yeah. But sometimes, like, look, you gave me 10% of your effort. I'm going to show you in kind what 10% looks like. Yeah. I mean, if someone's going to give me an option to tip, I'll tip. Like, I went to a concert, and I got merch, and I still tipped. <laughs> I don't know. I just oh, always man. have to really? tip. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're t- you, they're, every company has an option to tip now. Like, every time I go to Subway. <laughs> we're just going like, to ask you a quick question. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. We're, I'm just going to flip this around. It's going to ask you a few questions. Yeah. 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 Don't mind me. They're like, they're, like, trying to look away, trying to, like, pretend like it's yeah. not a t- the tipping option on the screen. And there's, like... Tip, big box, big box, big box, little tip, way down yeah. here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm either up here or I'm not getting my food very soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's bullshit, man. I, I know. This is, a, this is a great subject that we just stumbled upon. The over-tipping in America right now. Mm-hmm. Look, if you serve me food, I get it, right? If you take my car and go park it somewhere and then bring it back to me, Absolutely. Sure. You clean my clubs. Hey, sure. Here's five, man. Yeah. Thanks. I bought a Coke, and you're telling me what 20% of a dollar oh nine is? Mm-hmm. You're getting Cokes for a dollar oh nine? Dude, again, don't let like, the truth get in the way of a good story. Like I go I go to Subway. My sandwich is twelve seventy one. Yes, I go to Subway that much where I know how much my sandwich costs. Twelve seventy one. Twelve seventy one for a foot long turkey sandwich. It must be a magic turkey sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Do you think I'm gonna tip after that? I'm not gonna spend fifteen dollars on a Subway sandwich. Double no meat, way I'm doing it. Double meat, double cheese. No, never, man. <laughs> double meat, double cheese. <laughs> with a uh, with avocado. But you know it's okay. It's okay because I didn't get regular chips. I just got the. What the other chips are? Uh, the, har- the harvest, the baked, yeah, yeah the, the baked, baked. <laughs> the baked, or the sun chips, sun yeah. chips, yeah. sun chips. Sun. It makes good. it better. <laughs> it, I can eat these chips because they're sun chips. They were made in the sun, man. 
Yeah. They have it like at the airport. You know, you go to that overpriced uh, convenience store. I, I can't remember what it's called. It's like Fifth Avenue or something like that. And then you go buy a magazine. It's like, do you want to leave a tip? I'm like, for what? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't say no. You can't say no. I yeah. feel too bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a... Uh, so we got uh, Jamie in to talk about our Munchie Madness Final Four. Uh, the regions are finalized. We have our champions for each region. We got per- uh, burgers, pizzas, Mexican food, and wings. Uh, and Minute so- Details playing no anchovies. Yep. Yep. And uh, ATL Wings is against Lindy's. Yep. So wow. pretty impressive Final Four. Before we before we talk about the Final Four and get Jamie's thoughts. Um, just background on Jamie. Uh, Jamie, so you've been working for This Is Tucson now uh, for a little bit. You're the, the food critic. Uh, when did you start at This Is Tucson, and uh, where are you from originally? I started in October, um, but I had been in the, I had been at the Star like two years prior um, okay. at Other Beats, but I'm originally from Nogales. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Nogales High School? Nogales High School. Nogales okay. High School. Apache. <laughs> yeah. Apache, yes. You play sports, Jamie? Um, I ran cross country all four years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you ran on purpose. You ran uh, on purpose. I was what a wild person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My thought, though, it was a huge runner. And since middle school, they're like, you're going to do cross country. They didn't really give me a chance. And I was very slow. Wow. <laughs> but I never stopped. They were, they were like, what? You can work in the mines <laughs> yeah. or you're going to do cross country. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> but, but it was fun. Um, we had a great coach, so it. It w- I, I ran for the first time the other day for a long in a long time, and I was like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Running what sucks. normal humans do. <laughs> yeah. They run and like, why am I doing this? Yes, yeah. right. Um, Jamie, you're – tight-knit can- Nogales community in Tucson, by the way. I know yeah. a lot of guys, a lot of people from Nogales. And when you – if you don't mind, when you move from Nogales to mm-hmm. Tucson, do, do people – I mean – they connect you to the other people from Nogales here, don't they? Like, hey, this is some people yeah. you can rely on. It's such a already really small community, so everybody already knows everybody. So everybody who goes to the U of A, like, there's people two years above me and two years below me that I know. Right. I've pretty much had the same, like, group of friends since senior year. Um, I feel like we all stay very close together. I mean, <laughs> I mean this with, like, this is a compliment. I mean, I'm, I'm about to ask you, so – in your senior year, are you going to prom this year at Nogales High? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're very uh, <laughs> yeah. I get that a lot, too. I, I remember going to an interview at the police station, and they're like, oh, what, what year in high school are you? Yeah. I was like, I'm not in high school. <laughs> oh, man. And to be clear, you were interviewing for a position with the police department. No, they were interviewing. No, I was interviewing the police department for a story. Oh. I wasn't interviewing at yeah. the police department. Uh, <laughs> not, and you were also not accused of a crime. Yeah. And no. they were asking your whereabouts. <laughs> no, I was not. She would be the like, <laughs> like one of the best criminals ever. Because look at her. Like she looks as innocent mm-hmm. as innocent looks. <laughs> Perfect criminal. Jamie Innocent yeah. Donnelly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I was 24 last year, and they were going to let me into O'Malley's. They thought my ID was fake. I was like, come on. Yeah. Wow. Damn. <laughs> it was and very embarrassing. <laughs> how many people, uh, one more Nogales question, since you're from Nogales, bring up the fact that the when you the American side of Nogales, the one place everybody wants to go to from Mexico is McDonald's because it has ice in its drinks? <laughs> I've is never that heard that before, but – Everybody does go to McDonald's a lot. It is yeah. a popular place. Or so, like Walmart on a Friday. Walmart on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> on a Friday night, you go Friday. to Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's anywhere. But like when you like you go to Mazatlan, Guadalajara, any Rocky Point and you come across the border because you know, we are we like ice in America. I and, learned that in Europe, uh, they they don't give you ice in your drinks yeah. at all. So the first thing a lot of people do is like, I need a Coke with ice in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you never, you guys have never, no, been in no. that. I guess I never noticed. I guess, <laughs> I guess I brought something up that I thought was commonplace that everybody in the room <laughs> has no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. And in Europe, way to go, Ali. They yes. don't drink tap water. Like the the water that we have in America, it's yeah. it's not like that. Like uh, I have a an aunt who lives, she's from Germany, lives in Italy. And I'm like, so what about tap water? And she's like, oh, you mean we're a fish fuck? Like, why am I gonna drink that water? That's gross. <laughs> Give me sparkling water. Really? Yeah. So how do they shower? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's sparkling water. <laughs> but they're not consuming it. They're just bathing it. Like, so you won't drink it, but you bathe no, yourself bathe in it. fish fish fuck juice. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 
cool. Yeah, it's weird, but yeah, some Anyways. very odd response. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but I digress. You do, big you time. Do. And speaking of like saying something you think is commonplace that everybody knows about that you know nobody does. Now I know how you feel when you talk about hockey with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's, the, it's yeah. the way it goes down every time. Yeah, uh, Jamie is. <laughs> Condolences, Jamie. <laughs> You're a Jets and a Mets fan. Mm-hmm. Really? Sorry. Jets. <laughs> yeah. And your dog is named after the running back Emerson Boozer? Yes. 1969. We won the third, the most important Super Bowl. You did, you, the Jets won. Actually, for the uh, for the NFL, it was. Mm-hmm. Is your fish named Don Maynard? <laughs> yeah. I don't have For a all fish. you Jets fans <laughs> out there, Don Maynard was number 13 in the receiver for Joe Namath. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping trivia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Emerson Boozer, Matt Snell, running back connection. Man. No. <laughs> Don Shula coached the Colts in that Super Bowl, and his assistant coach was Chuck Knoll. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. What's something every day? So, uh, that, that's big. It's all Greek to me. Who's your favorite Jet of all time, Jamie? That's Zach Wilson. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Zach Wilson apologist. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Zach. I wish him the best. You're about 15 years too young for him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes his women more on the milky side. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, Darrell Revis. Revis Island. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess I got to keep it classic with Joe Namath, even though I guess he's kind of problematic. Um, yeah. He got drunk but, on air one time. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he likes Susie Colbert's <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he has a nice sense of fashion. <laughs> Um, but I do really love the. I love Sauce. And I love Garrett. Um, I love Brees Hall. Yeah. I love the Williams brothers. Do you love Aaron Rodgers? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did last year. <laughs> Future Vice President Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. yeah. I did oh, last God. year, and then I don't know what. I watched Hard Knocks, and I was like, he's such a great guy. And then. No. He, kept, <laughs> he was a little crazy. Yeah. And then he kept talking. And then he kept yeah. going on Pat McAfee every <laughs> Tuesday and saying some out-of-pocket stuff. Yeah. I knew he was going to – I th- I remember getting ready that Monday Night Football, and I was like, he's going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt. And then he got hurt, and I called my dad immediately. And my dad was laughing. He was like, I don't I don't know what you expect. He said like, he was going to get hurt. <laughs> my dad had absolutely no reaction. Is that <laughs> is that the world you live in as a Jets fan is like, well – Next year, let's just wait for the next thing to go wrong. Yeah, my dad always says, he's, get out while you can. He said, I don't know why you chose this life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad, 1969, as a baby, he met Joe Namath. He has his autograph. So my dad's in it for the long run, but he, he always tells me, I don't know why you did this to yourself. Yeah. Because why, <laughs> why you you're a real one. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. 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 But, you know, as a parent, like what sports teams you have your – push your kids to kind of watch. It doesn't always work. But – it's amazing how impactful that is for the rest of their lives, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, you just, you know, son, I know this is a Lakers town, but we're Clippers. <laughs> we're Clippers fans. Oh, man. Yeah. I could thing, imagine. And that, then the baby slapped his dad and said, fuck you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Go Lakers. <laughs> Purple <goes. clears throat> Yeah. My poor dad, he has three girls, and he, he will never let you forget it. He was the center of the nhs apaches he made soft he made varsity his sophomore year <laughs> he, he's a big football guy and he got three girls and I, sometimes i i really got into football these past two years so i'll always ask him questions and he's like you'll never understand you'll never get what it's like to hit somebody he's like if i could go back there and get hit i would do it immediately i have a sister <laughs> so i have a sister-in-law that wants to she asked me she's like i want one thing from you can you get real football pants Shoulder pads, helmet, and I want to put on some cleats, and I just want to run around the field and catch passes. And I'm like, sure, I can do that for you. Is that something that you want to hit somebody? My sister, <laughs> <Maybe>. my <laughs> sister-in-law. Maybe yeah, we could suit you guys both up and run some Oklahoma drills. Yeah, so I think I get really intense. Like I, I hate the Bills. Mm. And I hate the Patriots. So every time they play the Bills, I'm like, I want someone to get hurt. That sounds oh, bad. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> someone take down Josh Allen. <laughs> so that's what we got to do. Do Oklahoma drills, and whoever is facing Jamie, just wear the jersey of <laughs> an AFC East team. Yeah, yeah, can we do an overtime where I play some football? <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, yes. we can. Absolutely. I'll tell so you what. 100%. It's going to even be better because, you know, Oklahoma drill, two people, you know, you don't know who's going to win, right? It's a war of wills. 
but there's also one where you just do it with a, a dummy. So we're going to put Justin yeah. in a Bills jersey, <laughs> and you're just going to run and just nail him. Okay? Yeah. He's just going to stand there, like, with his back to you like a quarterback. He's not going to even see you coming. And you get the blindside <laughs> sack, Justin Spears. Yeah. There's our next promo. I want to channel my inner, my inner Quinn and Williams. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> like it. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you have a boyfriend or a husband, but – you're a catch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jamie's the best. Yeah. She's the best. She loves football and writes about food, man. She just made a reference to the outside linebacker, or defensive end for the New York Jets <laughs> on a blindside hit. Yeah. And she's a food critic? <laughs> catch. I owe, it, mm-hmm. I owe it all to my dad. You he it. taught me everything. And she loves her dad. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Donnelly, man. And by the way, that's a really good indication. You're already married. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave. When you're dating a girl that doesn't like her dad, red flag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's let's uh, let's transition now and talk about the Munchie Madness Final Four. Uh, so we just announced all the uh, Final Four selections. Uh, Jamie, just what are your thoughts on the, the Mini Dito and – uh, Lindy's or were you laughing at the wig? Take you just, yeah. that fucking wig. I got to get off. You made your point. No, you I mean, you, you made off. your point. I'm just saying. Are we, do we want to talk seriously? <laughs> Maybe we should be serious. Well, we we're talking about food. Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing I can see in the camera behind the mic. <laughs> <laughs> just... Go ahead. I look like Rod Stewart. You do you, man. You do you. Go do you. Do what you, do what you want to do. Um, I love all these selections. A little bit surprised by no anchovies beating out Rocco's in the Elite Eight round. But when you look at these four restaurants, how do you how do you summarize just the meals and, and the experiences mm-hmm. that you've had them? Yeah, let me this up real quick for us. Um, let's start off with Mini Dito. Okay. What, yeah, do you, dude, what do you like about Mini Dito? No disclaimer. There you go. Yeah, oh no yeah, disclaimer. let's let's first get off the disclaimer. Pause the read <laughs> if you're watching. Basically, we're dumb idiots with a radio show. We don't know what we're talking about. We just like food, having fun. Don't yeah. take it too seriously. And besides, you voted on these, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> can't blame us. Except for that one where you changed the vote, right? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start off with... Um, oh, you want to start let, with Mexican food? Yeah. Let's. Uh, no, actually, let's go back to burgers. Okay, fine. Let's start off with burgers. Lindy's on fourth. Um, I've had Lindy's a few times, and every single time I've had the blue suede cow, which has peanut every butter. Every single time? Every single time. Now I don't go crazy and have like the grilled, grilled cheeses right as it's, the bun. It's a grilled PB and J. A grilled PB and J as the bun. That's like a, a extra big back move. Yeah, that's a, that's a wide back move. Okay, now I have a big back, but that that's a little excessive. But the blue suede cow is, it's so good. It's one of my favorite burgers of all time. I love Lindy's. Jamie, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I do like Lindy's. I've been there a couple of times, and I've had the mac and cheese burger, yes. which I thought was really good. You definitely have to be, like, in a mood for Lindy's. If you just want a plain burger, I, <laughs> that's not a place to go. But, I I mean, every time I go there, the mac and cheese burger is super good. Well, you, uh, is that – you talk about, like, being in the mood. Mm-hmm. Are we talking about, like, a mood that you feel on April 20th? Yeah. Or – Yeah, why, why I guess. <laughs> Or, like, maybe if you haven't eaten anything all day. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> do you uh... – <laughs> That's actually my biggest crunch is that I, I go a long period of time without eating food. Yeah. Do you guys – so uh, what's, in the, what's, what, what's yeah. in the – what's in the – yeah. Yeah. What's in the blue suede – what is it called? Blue suede cow. Blue, blue, suede, blue suede cow. What's in there? Just I, like can, a, I can actually look it up for you real quick. Yeah, it's just like a – just a cheeseburger with peanut butter and bacon. I believe. Really? Yeah. Uh, have you ever had it with the grilled peanut butter and jelly bread sandwiches? Like I, the sandwiches as bread? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know that was an option. Oh. <laughs> you see? So, so I talk about you like see? It, how excessive it is. It, it does does spark my interest a little bit. But Damn man, straight. It just, it's a little too much. Especially because you know, I've had the burger before. But next time you go, you're going to do it. No. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. I may try it. Just for, <laughs> just for context, the blue suede cow is peanut butter, bacon, pepper jack, lettuce, tomato, onion, and for three bucks extra, they do it with the grilled PB and J buns. Got to do it, man. It's so good. Yeah, you got to do it. It's so good. It will take a year off your life, though. <laughs> Everyone you eat. Well, how about if you split it with somebody, 
or, uh, or six or months. People. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Uh, so you guys, I, I have something we all will agree on. When you go to a burger place, the fries are really important. So okay. it's not part of the the mad munchy madness, but. You're looking at the list of everybody that was in this burger region. Is there one place in particular, whether it's Lindy's who's still alive or somewhere else, where, man, they got, they got really, really good fries? Um, Zen Burger. Yeah. I love Zen Burger's zucchini fries and their sweet potato fries and their normal fries. You do like sweet potato <laughs> fries. I do fries. like sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato fries. I, I, I mess around with some sweet potato <laughs> fries, Ali. I don't know. Why? Are you hating right now? I don't hate it, but I'm like, Why? Because, like, regular fries are better. And they're not that much healthier eating sweet potato fries. I mean, do you think they taste better than regular fries? I guess it depends on my mood. But sometimes, yeah. I, it took me a while to get into them, too. And then one day it just clicked. They did? <laughs> yeah. They did. <laughs> and then I saw the world yeah, in a I different life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the world was more of a sweet potato. Yes. <laughs> in which humanity came together and joined hands. <laughs> yeah. And had fried sweet potato. <laughs> I like it. I like it. The zucchini fries are good too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We it's not on this list, but we all agree that anybody beat the EG's fry? Because the EG's fry to me, I mean McDonald's hot and fresh, obviously, right up there, but you give me EG's fries. Yeah. yeah. It, it honestly yeah. the the condiment is what makes it. Yeah. The, the, ranch. E, the EG's ranch. They're Goes bottling it now. Yeah, they're, they're selling, selling bottles. fucking bottles of EG's ranch now. So you guys are French fries and ranch people? Yes. yes. Don't you dare start telling me that you're not going to use the EG's ranch. I've never had EG's ranch, and I oh never will. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I never will. That's why. <laughs> it's abominable. I'm pretty sure that's a <laughs> felony. Ketchup. It's so good. There's nothing better than ketchup. Chipotle ranch from EG's. No. Yeah. Brother. I love ranch. Or just straight mayonnaise. You just no. dip it right in mayonnaise See, like, the, like the Germans do. Savage. That's not even a joke. I <laughs> yeah. do that all the time. Every I time I get fries someplace, and I'm like, can I get a little ramekin of mayonnaise? I said it on Monday, and I'm going to say it again. You're a terrible person. <laughs> 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 Let's move on to the next region. So Lindy's, um, they're representing the burger region in the Final Four. Up next, let's talk wings. And mm -hmm. Lindy's will take on ATL Wings. All the Love Wings, not Atlanta Wings, but uh, all the Love Wings, uh, they have a few locations in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, one of them on the east side is owned by our guy, uh, Corey Williams, his brother, Tim Williams. Yeah. He owns that. And it's really cool. It's a uh, cool location, really good mm -hmm. environment, and the food is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite wing place or a favorite? I won't even, if you don't want to say wing place, what's your favorite kind of wing? And do you agree with me that when Justin eats boneless wings, he's just the child eating chicken nuggets? Go. <laughs> I do like boneless wings, but I do agree it's that you're basically eating like a chicken tender. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes that's just what you're in the mood for. Yeah, I'm a fine. big chicken tender person. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fine. that's fine, right? I'll order chicken tenders just, at a fancy restaurant. <laughs> he likes them when they're cut in the shape of dinosaurs, so yeah. <laughs> we're talking about kind of two different things. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Dino chicken. I like the stegosaurus ones. Hey, my kids were raised on dino chicken. Damn mm -hmm. straight. All, all the love to that. <laughs> so uh, who who did ATL Wings beat? Who did they beat out in the last eight, I, Elite Eight? Uh, Barrio. Barrio. Oh, was it Barrio? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Barrio Brewing Company. Also good wings. Drums or flats? Drums. No. <laughs> flats. Sorry. Mm. I got them confused. <laughs> flats. <laughs> You're a flats guy too, right? Um, mm -hmm. No, drums. Yeah. yeah. Lemon pepper drums. Lemon pepper. Oh, yeah. So what? Yeah, you didn't answer the first question. Is it... Regular buffalo style, your favorite? You like, uh, you know, mango habanero? What? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Um, yes. I can only go up to medium. I'm a bit of a baby, so I can't. I can eat spice, but I can't handle it well, or I'll I'll be like runny nose, like crying. If you're not <laughs> so sweating. You're not. <laughs> yeah. You're not eating. I'll do Jamie. medium yeah. or lemon pepper or garlic parmesan. Those are my favorite wings. Yeah, mm. yeah man. You know what? Good wings is not around anymore. Uh, remember Old Chicago on Campbell and Fort Lowell? Yeah. They closed down, and now there's like a Dober's oh, yeah. there mm. and uh, something else, um, like a healthy place. Yeah, Flower Child. <laughs> That's yeah. why we don't know what it's yeah. called. Flower <laughs> Child. I've been there. It's good. It's good. Flower Child. Bullshit. Very good. I have. <laughs> Twice. Yeah, it's good there. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago. Chicago. Old Chicago had a... Second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
believe I wouldn't believe if you went there. You don't believe I went there? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea what it's called. I didn't even know it was there. Flower Child. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've just, been there. I got some quinoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's confusing sometimes. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, oh, so I order this, this, and that, but it's actually really good. Dober's is really good. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've been heard, there. Good pizza. I've, I've heard the honey on the pizza is yep. mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. Really good pizza. All right. So uh, we got Lindy's versus ATL Wings. We got burgers versus wings. Up next, we got pizza versus Mexican food. But let's start off with pizza. A little surprised by this. A little surprised. You know, Rocco's Little Chicago, I mean, they were like the Yukon of this tournament. I mean, they were killing everyone in their path. So is Alabama winning? Is this a sign? You know what? Oh, my God. Alabama (laughs) Moneyline. Let's do it up. But no anchovies knocking off Rocco's Little Chicago a little surprised by this. Uh, Jamie, what are your thoughts on uh, no anchovies winning the pizza region and edging uh, uh, Rocco's? I think it's a little crazy. I, Me too. I would have went with Rocco's. Um, to be totally honest, every time I've had no anchovies, it's been very early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are we talking like 1 a.m.? We all yeah. went to the U of A. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so there I was a lot to yeah. unpack there. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I've leave it alone. No anchovies. It's it was a long night. <laughs> yes. Um, so it was delicious. <laughs> yeah. Right. Really good day. Um, Did I mention you're a keeper? <laughs> <laughs> I so I personally would have went with Rocco's, but I mean, no anchovies is good. I think I just like Rocco's a little bit better. Uh, Apparently, my <laughs> friends have all told me that Rocco's could have won the wings region, too. Yes, Rocco's has really good wings. Do they? I've never had their wings. They are a complete team. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Depth. F- f- uh, going around the room, starting with Jamie, favorite kind of pizza? Mm, that's really hard. I, it, when it, it, Let's just say it's not 2 o'clock in the morning, and yeah. you get to <laughs> soberly choose what kind of slice of pizza you want. What are you choosing? That just doesn't. That, that doesn't. Um, that. I guess. <laughs> Kind of more New York style, but I do love like a, like those Italian pizzas where it's very like a tomato-y sauce, where you kind of have like the chunks of tomato in the sauce yeah. and it's a very mm. thin crust. I do love that type of pizza, but then sometimes like an empire slice, you just need a really big, greasy Oh, slice. really good. <laughs> yeah. Empire but what are, you, <laughs> or what are you putting on the pizza? Oh, um, you just, I'm boring, just pepperoni. Just pepperoni? Yeah. All right. I'm boring. <laughs> Classic. Empire's elote pizza. What's on that? Yes, uh, corn. I mean elote yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh, that's so What's elote? Like, you know, like street corn. Street, street corn. Yeah, street corn. You don't like it because they put mayonnaise on it. <laughs> yeah, mayonnaise um, on pizza? No, on on corn. Oh, on okay. and on pizza. And on pizza, kind of. Well, it's like a it's a chipotle mayo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. That's your favorite? The elote pizza or the mac and cheese pizza? No anchovies. Uh huh. That's really good. That sounds good. I never had that. What about you, Andrew? El- you? The elote pizza is hard to beat at Empire, and I'm a little bummed that it didn't make it farther in the Me too. competition. Just for that reason, they make a damn good slice. Mm-hmm. Um, but like growing up, w- as weird as it is, I don't know why, but my my go to slice of pizza, like especially when I'm getting pizza with like my dad, we always get, uh, no matter where we are, pepperoni. Italian sausage, mushroom, black olive. I don't know why. My guy. That's the that's like always been the combo. Yeah. So probably that. Pretty pretty good. Yeah. You guys know what mine is, so right. We Pepperoni can... jalapeno? No. Pineapple ham. Hawaiian with fresh cut jalapenos on it. Huh. And sometimes like you said, you had like the bacon ago. too. Yeah. yeah. Right? So the double pig, mm-hmm. which now everybody knows, even though my name's Ali. I do not ascribe to certain faiths. I will. <laughs> you do eat pork. Yeah. And in abundance. <laughs> in abundance. Al Bondigas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I want to give a shout out to Fiami Pizza. I've never been. They've got a, yeah, so it's off of Swan and Sunrise, and they've got like a, like a stone oven. And, you know, like they cook it right there. It's uh, in the, like the pepperoni or like mm-hmm. thick cut slices of real like pepperoni, mm. right? It is excellent. I mean, I think it is excellent, excellent pizza. And I don't know if there's another style, at least in Tucson, that serves pizza in the same manner as Fiamis. So shout out Fiamis. I don't know the owner. Do not own any percentage. Yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy the pizza. <laughs> They're like it, the that, that high C team that lost early on. But I think 
as they garner more popularity in the next year, maybe they'll be back with a vengeance. Gonzaga? In next year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or uh, Purdue. Purdue. Virginia, right? Ali had mentioned that there that burger joints, the fries are really important. Is there a secondary dish at pizza places that's really important? Uh, well, I mean, sometimes wings. the wings, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I sometimes, not all the time, like to get a side of their sauce and dip the pizza in the sauce. Oh, like okay, I got you. Yeah, the tomato sauce, and so oh, they got a funny. really good tomato sauce that you can basically mm-hmm. dip the pizza. And you know, I'll, I'll be honest. As I've gotten older, I think matured, evolved, maybe. <laughs> Ev- <laughs> I do use a fork and a knife when I eat pizza. Boo. No, hey, frog and firkin. Yeah. Their their pieces of pizza are so big and monstrous. Like you have to eat it with a fork and knife. What do you not believe in yourself? <laughs> Just- just get it all over your hands and stuff. Like, yeah. it's so much cleaner. And if I want to dip it in the tomato sauce, the fork is a very good tool to do that. Right? So, you know, judge got, away, I got, buddy. I got natural tools right Yeah, here. judge yeah. away. <laughs> judge away. <laughs> Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any spots on this list, Jamie, that you think, outside of maybe Rocco's, because I think we all agreed that that should have, not should have, but we expected it to go to the four. Are there any others you are surprised aren't or didn't, like, make it a little farther? Um, did Empire make it far? I feel like Empire went out, like, first or second yeah, round. Yeah, first or second round. Wow. I would yeah. say Empire. I really love Empire. Yeah. Um, I love Empire. Is there any la, any restaurant on I talked about Fiammi's, but anybody anything on here that um, maybe people don't, that you've been to and people should really check out? I really like Timus Pizza Kitchen. I liked Timus. the pepperonis. They're, like, little and they curl up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Those are my favorite. Pepperoni. And they're thick. Yeah. yeah. That's like Fiammi's. Like, you're like, you literally just butchered the pig in the back. Because mm-hmm. that's what this pepperoni looks like. Yeah, they have pepperonis like that. And it, and I only had one slice and I got it on, I can't say the word, focaccia? Focaccia. Oh, focaccia. Yeah. Yeah. focaccia. It was really good. So I would definitely try Hymas. They do pizza on focaccia? Um, yeah. That's yeah. A game changer. It was like, I got a cute little slice. It was really good. Oh, damn. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I would say Empire Two is really good. Um, I just saw Squared Up closed. Oh, it yeah, did? closed. Mm-hmm. I just yes. saw him in Vegas. So. Yeah, man, just couldn't keep it keep it going. The Portnoy oh. effect didn't work, huh? The, yeah. <laughs> the Portnoy effect. <laughs> good undercarriage though on good, his pizza. Good undercarriage. Uh, yeah, it was. I, I thought it was really good pizza. Uh, you guys, you guys get the square pizzas in in the cafeteria at school. You guys remember those? Yeah, like the best. Yeah. yeah. The, they were the, the best. best, right? The best. They tasted like the weekend. They were the best. Yes, Friday, yeah. Friday pizza, man. <laughs> Friday pizza. See, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You know, like that, that feeling that you get for like during the football season. We hear the Sunday night football song. And yeah. You're like, shit, I gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Tasting that pizza, that was like the opposite of that. It was like, yeah, yeah. we got a long weekend ahead of us. So, <laughs> I know Barstool is a controversial company, and you know, people have their own thoughts on it. But I went to a Barstool event in New York when we made them the title sponsor of the Arizona Bowl. And they were coming out with their own pizza. And they cooked it for everybody. We got to eat it. And that pizza tasted exactly like lunchroom pizza. Exactly. <laughs> and like somebody's like, ah, this is okay. I'm like, are you kidding? This is amazing. This is, this is Friday lunchroom pizza. Shot you back in time like in Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just need a little chocolate milk to go along with that. No, ch- <laughs> why? Everything yeah. doesn't. <laughs> chocolate milk. We talk- We started the whole thing about moderation. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a steak. You know, it's more American than eating a steak, having two p- glasses of chocolate milk with it. Steak and chocolate yeah. milk, dude. Yeah. Hey, 4th of Bo- July, a hot dog. Boy you know, dinner. it's more American than eating a hot dog. Chocolate milk. Boy dinner. Yeah. I do love chocolate milk, and then you put it in the freezer for a little bit so it gets a little frozen. Yeah, it's, chocolate milk is good, <laughs> but you don't drink it with everything. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> well, in, in elementary school, well, yeah, you had it. You had chocolate milk with your lunch. With your lunch, right? Yeah, but it's in the little cartons. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I think that look. Maybe cut back on the chocolate milk a little bit. <laughs> Try some different drinks. You know, you know what's good with a burger? A Coke a or Shirley a beer, Temple. Mm-hmm. right? Ooh. Yeah, or Shirley Water. Temple or, or, or Roy Rogers. <laughs> or, or Roy Rogers. <laughs> Roy, you're Roy Rogers. All right. You guys want to get really uh, controversial? Lunchroom best lunchroom meals: the Sloppy Joe Day, Pizza Day, or Chicken Nuggets Day? Oh, Pizza Day. Pizza Day by default, but but then Sloppy Joes. 
See, I think Sloppy Joe's beats pizza only because it came with tater tots. Did we all go to school at the same place? I swear to God, we did. <laughs> My school cafeteria was not like that. No. No. <laughs> no. My kids at South Point, it's like a freaking restaurant in there. It's like, would you like your, would you like your sushi with eel or lobster? Or it's like, I'm like, what the heck's going on? I, is it fresh caught? <laughs> what's the fresh catch? Of, what's the fresh catch of the day? Um, <clears throat> I'm exaggerating, but like they do like have different. It's like different kind of foods, and it's like a it's a huh. like a food court almost. But yeah, what, what are you gonna say about uh? But the sloppy Joe tater tots, strong. Not the biggest sloppy Joe guy. No? Yeah. Huh. Not the, I don't know why. So you didn't like that Adam Sandler song? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Pizza Day was definitely my, my favorite. Because like Andrew said, it, it tastes like the weekend. Yeah, it was the fall. That, yeah. that was the Friday feel. All right. One more controversial topic. For chain pizza stores, that your Domino's, your Pizza Hut's, your Papa John's, if I'm forgetting, Blackjack. Little Caesars. Who, Little Caesars. Who's got the best? Little Caesars. I would say Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Oh, I, see, I know a lot of people who go Peter Piper, mm-hmm. and I don't get it. I gotta say, yeah. you I, gotta get I, the New York three cheese. The okay. New York three cheese. <laughs> okay. See, I have I'll bad give, memories. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm open. I have my my memories of Peter Piper were we went there after like little league or like youth football games, like we'd have like a championship or something like that, and we would celebrate at Peter Piper, and every single time I got sick. <laughs> like I, I got, I threw up after eating Peter Piper like four or five times, uh, growing up. Were you eating the pizza while playing the video games? <laughs> yeah. Food? You know, maybe. maybe and, and you know what I didn't have with that pizza? No, I was chocolate, gonna say chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. You had chocolate half a pizza milk. with chocolate milk. Of course you got sick. I, I, I did Don't not. blame it on Mr. Piper. <laughs> no, this is your problem. No, I didn't have chocolate milk. <laughs> did not have chocolate milk. Mr. Piper, I'm gonna just gonna defend you, Mr. Piper. Justin Spears. It, some, there's something about that story. It was his fault. <laughs> I know for a fact. <laughs> and the views and uh, opinions expressed by Justin Spears regarding pizza that makes him sick and throw up are not shared by those at Lotus Company or yeah. Andrew Trujillo, well, Ollie Farhanger, sli- Jamie Donnelly. Yeah. But I had Peter Piper in the last year and a half, and it was a good piece of pizza. Wow. You and, made, I, and I did not get sick. Maybe lead with that. <laughs> <laughs> is there uh is there any pizza is there any pizza better than bowling alley pizza negative yes. oh man like uh um, <laughs> yes lucky what's Davey it called lucky yes. strike on speedway i think they happen to have one of the best pizzas if you like new york style pizza anywhere Maybe I haven't had. Maybe I'm just thinking about Nogales Bowling Alley, and that wasn't good pizza. But no. <laughs> I've never had Lucky Strike pizza. Lucky Strike pizza. <laughs> Round <laughs> one does a good pizza too. The arcade on the east side. Yeah, that has the bowling alley in it. They make a good za. Justin, <laughs> Justin is Round One royalty. Are you now? <laughs> you and you were holding out on us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Us please, please explain. <laughs> Justin is the claw machine master. He comes out with at least five stuffed animals. <laughs> yeah. Floor's yeah. yours, man. <laughs> yeah, so uh, back in the day, back in the day, so I think it was like m- maybe in the, in the last year or so, um, we have this this group chat from people who still work at the Arizona Daily Star and people who used to work at the Star. And every now and again, we'll get together. Sometimes we'll have a bite to eat. We'll go somewhere, eat some dinner. Um, we'll go to golf and stuff, play some, some, some putt-putt. Or we'll go to round one. And um, last week we went to golf and stuff, and then we went to round one. Um, and then so at round one, um, there's this this hack, and I learned it the first time that we went there, that when the claw drops, and as soon as like it's making contact with whatever you're trying to pick up, you shake the shit out of it, <laughs> <laughs> break the window, and grab the bag, <laughs> and then you run. <laughs> <laughs> but you can only do it to five machines before they catch on that you got to get out. So that's why Jamie said five animals. I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> um, you hit the, the, the claw button again, and it like like there's like an extra oomph to the, hmm. the, the claw, and it picks it up. Does it work every single time? No. But, man, there, there are times where, like, I get it, and it will, like, hit the window, and then it will knock it out. I'm like, okay, I'm getting close. And then you just got to be persistent with it. 
have I dropped a lot of money at this place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm like freaking. What's your percentage? Would you say? Um, what are you batting? Uh, Mendoza I'm, line. I'm definitely in. Uh, I'm Mendoza batting line. a little bit over 300. It's not bad. Yeah. It's a Hall of Fame claw machine guy. Yeah. So Justin Spears is the only guy that's been banned from buffets <laughs> and places that have claw machines. <laughs> I'm not banned from buffets. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I uh, cleaned house. I think I got like like six mm-hmm. or seven last time we went. Wow. Got, yeah. Got Jamie. Uh, what is it, a seal? A seal. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. New Weird. seal. Very nice. So you, so if somebody leaves the Arizona Daily Star, like if they're fired or they just leave, they still stay on the text chain? Uh, yeah. Because nobody has the heart to be like, ah, dude, <laughs> not in the club anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, and like now, well, like with changes over time, like half the group is people who don't work at the Star. Yeah, wow. They're and like, you guys, we're all friends. and everybody's above the age of 25. Uh, Jamie, how old are you? I'm 25. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. She said that earlier. <laughs> yeah, I was Justin, listening. Come yeah. on. Now. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> we don't just use ears to shut corn. Oh, uh, dude, you think I can hear with this wig on? Come on now. Yeah. Well, but, anyway, so uh, everybody's 25 or older, and you guys all do things together. And yeah. last time it was golf and stuff in round one. Yeah. Cool. The conversation. What must is have it supposed like... to be? Fucking horseback riding and polo. <laughs> the. <laughs> Come on now, Ali. I, I, and it's like with, with co-eds, too, it's like a, we can either do that or we can go bar hopping, which I'm sure we could do eventually, but yeah, only so many options. Are you judging us? I'm just questioning. Just ask. I'm just, yeah. This whole scene. Do you guys talk to each other or just Yeah, we have a great time. Yeah? Yeah. And then I get all the stuffed animals yeah. and we start celebrating like crazy. He also had time. like three hole-in-ones in a row. I did. Golf and stuff. Yeah. You did. Wow. It was a good day for him. Yeah, I know. He's scratch golfing. Yeah. He's over here <laughs> getting the claw machines to go. Should have bought a lottery ticket that yeah, day. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lottery ticket. So you guys didn't answer. Uh, you said Little Caesars. What do you think? Uh, chain wise, I haven't had Papa John's in like a minute. I used to love Papa John's, but chain probably for the price, Domino's for the like. I'd say, I don't want to say quality because that feels wrong, but for like my favorites, Pizza Hut. Nobody got pizzas. The Better hut. ingredients. Regular. <laughs> oh, that's Papa John's. Yeah. Regular Pizza Hut. Because uh, I would tell you the Pizza Hut deep dish is one of the. Oh, yeah. Up there, yeah. Yeah. But I'd, you can get a lot of good food from Domino's for like dirt cheap. Okay. So. What about you, Jamie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say Peter Piper or Domino's. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I like Caesar's, the, the little puffs, the cheese puffs that they have. I never had that. Hot commodity right now. Yeah. Yeah, there's like these like little cup things. It's like a pack of four. And it's a, a very popular thing on TikTok and Instagram. It's like kind of getting the popularity as like the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Really? Yeah. People are going nuts for this. Hmm. How are you not the food critic at the Arizona Daily Star? <laughs> <laughs> this is chain stuff. Yeah. Jamie, in terms of like the the local scene and yeah. stuff that matters, Jamie's got that a lot. No, she I could. don't. Well, you guys could be a like a team. I'm not saying, <laughs> Jamie. I'm, I'm yeah, advocating no. for you to get fired right now. No, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe you know, divide and conquer. She does all the really good fine food, and you do like cheese puffs at Little Caesars. <laughs> I can help out. I can give the McDonald's hacks. Oh yeah, I know every single one of them. <laughs> Tell you what, thin crust Domino's, really good. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, I really like oregano's. Yeah, thin crust mm-hmm. at oregano's. Thin crust is that at oregano's. A chain? Oregano's. Yeah, they've got one in Phoenix, one in Tucson. Oh, they do. Yeah, I think they've so got they... one in Texas. If I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say because if, if having restaurants in Phoenix and Tucson makes you a chain, I wouldn't agree. I wouldn't say when we're talking about Pizza Hut, Domino's. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put oregano's in that category. Okay. Because they like a mid level. They chain. don't do. I would say it. Ha- it's some place that for the most part delivers or maybe like it's more of like a like a they don't uh, have corporate to answer to a machine where the pizza goes in yeah (laughs) yeah no corporate hacks right (laughs) if they ask you for a tps report that's what i'm talking about (laughs) yeah (laughs) all right let's move on to something that's uh very controversial in tucson arizona yep you can't win is it raining you can't win (laughs) You can't win. Or, or you can't lose. Or you can't lose. You can't lose. That's you what it lose. is. Can't you can't lose. Um, either one of these selections, I would have been totally okay with. I mean, I haven't tried all of them, but 
a lot of great choices here, but Mini Dito comes out on top. They're changing ownership, so it's a big year for them. Um, they are a Tucson staple. Um, they really uh, became popular when Bill Clinton, the former U.S. president, um, came down to Tucson and tried out their place. He He's, did have relations with that enchilada. He did. <laughs> <laughs> with that enchilada-style that enchilada burrito. But he had the presidential platter. And, yes, he um, did. Can you he, explain to the people what the presidential platter is, just in case they don't know? Is it so enchilada? Do you not, do you not know what it is? I've never had it before. Oh, what? I know. It is a. I uh, sat at the table, just not at the president. If I remember platter. correctly, it's a chicken enchilada, a chile relleno, a I want to say green corn tamale, yeah, but I'm not sure, a bean tostada, and a birria taco. Yeah. Heck yeah, hell yeah. I've always had to get the chicken to popo salad. I think it's that, the best. It's the best salad of all time. It's a really good salad. I know it's what you're talking about. Yeah. And the dressing needs to be the salsa. Yes, like the bowl. Like Not ranch or anything else. No. I mean, Saucy. honestly, it doesn't even need the the like dressing. The way it comes with the shredded chicken yeah. and all the things like mixed in with it, it doesn't need any dressing. It's the best. I love it. Salsa, but <laughs> Mini Dito is an incredible restaurant. And the, the the cool thing about that I love about Mini Dito is that they could have become big time. They could have opened up this larger restaurant so more people can come. But they're like, you know what? We're gonna keep it the way it is. We're gonna keep it compact. People wait for this shit. Like, my family has waited an hour and a half for a table at Mini Dito. That's how much we love it. You didn't, so you didn't read the article on Mini Dito yesterday where they're expanding their their restaurant? Are they really? No. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> what? Three blocks. <laughs> yeah. Three blocks. No, it's, uh, yeah, you're it's right. It's a great place. People do wait in mm -hmm. line. By the way, my parents asked me, just as a little, let me, as an aside, but near and dear to your heart, Justin, so don't, don't get prematurely annoyed okay, okay? Yeah. let us sink in just get maturely annoyed they were on broadway and like wilmot doing something and i got to my parents house and i'm like they're like do you know what's going on uh on broadway and wilmot i'm like what are you talking about there were people like lined around the block to go into some place and we don't <laughs> sweet what tomatoes. Was that? i'm like sweet tomatoes open today and they're like are you serious People line up for mm -hmm. to go to that. I'm like, it's the only one. It all closed down, and the only one that reopened is in Tucson. And my dad's like, of course. Do you know the owner? I'm like, Dad, I can't get you in get past the line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't know the owner. <laughs> yeah, Mo Faring yeah. a fast pass of sweet tomatoes. He needs to stay far, far away. Uh, but, uh, yeah, sweet tomatoes, I guess the lines have been nuts. And mm -hmm. Minadito would be proud of the lines that Sweet Tomatoes has had. Heck yeah, man. And, yeah. And, a, and so, but a guy like Justin would get in there early, sit there with his computer, and sit there for five hours and not let <laughs> other people just, you stand in line. I want another piece of pizza. I have brought my laptop to Sweet Tomatoes yeah. back in the day <laughs> before they closed. Yeah. In college, me and some buddies would go bring our laptops, connect to our hotspots, and study and eat yeah. for hours. It's the best. Favorite thing is Sweet Tomatoes. Yeah, you've been to Sweet Tomatoes, right? When I was a little kid. Yeah. What was your my, mac and cheese? I guess yeah. I don't. don't <laughs> I don't understand the sweet tomatoes hype, but I respect it. Yeah, high five. <laughs> I, told you, I told you she was a catch. <laughs> Mac and cheese and the muffins. The muffins. Blueberry chocolate, all of it. Do you do you eat mac and cheese with chocolate milk? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's I mean, really, I have in the, the line. <laughs> I have in the past. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, but no, okay. I have not. I love sweet tomatoes. What's up, AT? Uh, uh, I guess the cornbread. I never really went there too often. Okay. Yeah. So so that's his new nickname. You can tell everybody at the star. <laughs> sweet tomatoes. The sweet tom it's Justin <laughs> Sweet Tomato Spears. That was, uh, <laughs> he's dual say tom tomato. He, 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 if he's in the sun for five no, minutes, he turns red as a tomato. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he's got a little bit of seeds to him. Every once in a while, he's got a little, he's just got like very seedy. Like, Justin, calm down. Don't be so seedy. Right? <laughs> and he's a fruit, not a vegetable. Justin Spears, <laughs> sweet tomato Spears, tomato dulce, T tomato dulce, yeah. Al Bonigas, Al Bonigas, dude, you gotta, yeah, you might have to just can can you guys have fun at the star? Yeah, Jamie, you got, we got to create a character for this is Tucson. Yeah, we should the, the taste tester. Like, all right, you you profile the restaurant and then. At the end, you got it like a he said it, like a quote from Al Bondi goes. Yeah. And that's yeah. his review. Well, what if you did a, like a football story 
and instead of by Justin Spears, you put Al Bundy Gus, just as a, like a little inside joke for us. I mean, can you guys have fun at the star? No, I'll ask no, my question. We, we cannot. You can't when do it, that? When it comes to my coverage of Arizona football, I got to put Justin Spears and not Al Bundy Gus. Can, yeah. can you put Justin <laughs> Al Bundy Gus Spears? I don't think I can do that. Come on. I don't think I can swing that, unfortunately. I'll call Brett right yeah, now. Yeah, do it. Do it. I do also it. went to college with Brett. Come on. Now. Yeah. I'll, I'll, what do you get at Mini D, though, Ali? Man, uh, I like I like their uh, like carne asada burrito with red sauce, red enchilada sauce. Um, I've had the tapopo salad, really good. I, I, everything. I, I, the thing I think my favorite thing that I try to not eat too much when I go to Minadito is their enchiladas, cheese enchiladas. Mm. I really like those a lot. Jamie, mm-hmm. what's your go-to order? Same, a carne asada burrito enchiladas. Oh, style. that's right. We talked about that. Yeah. yeah. There's just something, I feel like older Mexican restaurants like that is just such a good vibe. Like, you you go in there and you're like, you know you're going to have a good time. Heck yeah. Yeah. Is I don't there, know how to describe it. Is there any other uh, restaurant on this list that maybe, you know, we all know the greatness of El Guero, the greatness of El Charo, mm-hmm. the greatness of El Minuto. Those are the ones we've heard about. Ever, anybody else on that list that you've been to and you've really enjoyed? Yeah, Rollies. I love Rollies. Um, I think it's really, really good. They have really good media. Um, I also, I just went to El Antojo. Poblano, and their mole was really, really good. Oh, oh mole. Okay. Yeah, and mm. Amelia's Mexican Kitchen has some of the best quesadilla, I think. Mm. We've yeah. had the owners come on the show you, during the Iron Chef Challenge. We did. Yeah. We did. Uh, where is Rolly's Mexican patio? And is there an inside or is it all outside? That's why it's a patio. It's both. Okay. Um, It's next to the Huero Canelo on 12th, if I'm correct. 12th, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. There Man, is uh, Rolly's and a Huero Canelo. Like, walking distance from each other? Is that correct? I think so. Man, I like don't the, remember. The, the, the I'm Shaq directionally challenged. I was, well, was going to say Turf Wars, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The Jets and the Sharks, but they're, <laughs> instead of, they're snapping their fingers, but in the other hand, they got carne asada. <laughs> <laughs> carne asada, shredded chicken. <laughs> carne asada, shredded chicken. It would be a great musical. I'd watch it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not on this list, by the way. I want to give a shout. So there was a restaurant downtown Tucson called Polka Cosa. Right? Oh, it yeah. It closed down during oh, the yeah. – a restaurant came up in its place like called La Chingada. Mm-hmm. And they have – their tortilla soup is outstanding. Mm-hmm. And, like, they, they put everything separate, and you put it in the broth together. And I'm sure it's done in other places. But La Chingada is really good. And then if you still love the taste of Polka Cosa – on Stone, the sister kept hers open. Little Polka Cosa yeah. mm-hmm. still open. And Little Polka Cosa, it's like, this is what we're cooking today. Yeah. There's three things on the menu. It's ready. So as soon as you order it, you're going to get it. And it is outstanding. Is it actually called Little Polka Cosa? Yeah. It's called oh. the little one. The Little Polka Cosa. Polka Co- Cosita or something. Yeah. Yeah, La Chingala. I think La Chingala also has one of the best quesadillas. Yeah. I love La Chingala. So and they have, I think they also own Cruda. Which is just like mariscos, and that one is also really good. Cruda's really good trip. Amazing, topic. I love Cruda. Tres leches cake or fried ice cream? Go. Tres leches. Yes, yeah, agree. Fried ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> fried ice cream, baby. Yeah, the side of his face. <laughs> <laughs> fried ice cream. All right, and you, Ali? You all answered wrong. Yes. No, both. Both. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, that's fair. You got me on that one. Or flan. Flan, Flan. Churros? Churros. Who's got the best churros? San Antonio. Just churros. <laughs> no, running out of churros? So the, the churros I've had in San Antonio are great, and Charles Barkley can attest to that. Really? Yeah. I Is thought th- he hated San Antonio. No, does, he just thinks the women are, are really big. big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably has to do he with the churros. churros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he doesn't like the river, that's for damn sure. <laughs> it's not a river. Yeah, exactly. No, it, the, it's the, a drain pipe. It's like, a, it's like yeah, not even a creek. It's like... The water at golf and stuff just longer. Yeah. <laughs> and dirty. And green and shitty. Yeah. Gross. But Great Bar is next to it. Great, yeah. great city, too. Great city. The Love walk is good. Uh, not, not a big fan. The best churros in Tucson, definitely just churros, in my opinion. Just churros? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have a brick and mortar spot uh, on Oracle just west. Like it's in the same plaza, but it's west of the Home Depot on Oracle. Yeah. And they do, they make them like, I don't. They have like a churro like dough 
gun. I don't even know how to describe it, but they like okay. pump it into the straight into the oil, and it's amazing. And they also do like ice cream sundays and shit. Oh wow, yeah. where's where's it at? It's on Oracle, <clears throat> and I guess the nearest crossroad would be Limberlost. It's called what again? Just churros. Just churros. And do they do they have uh, like burgers and sandwiches? No, no, it's like just. It's a joke. <laughs> it's, <laughs> just, <laughs> it's like just churros <laughs> and ice cream. And ice cream. Yeah, uh, but it, like mostly just churros. And we're talking about like chain churros. Um, chain churros. Like Top Golf. They have good churros. You're at Top Golf. Get some churros while you're golfing. They, those are good. They got the different, like the chocolate and the caramel sauce. All right, I'll give you that. Good stuff. And like a strawberry or a raspberry yep. or something like that. Yeah, it's the good stuff. Would you say that Nico's is a chain? Because they have churros, and their churros are pretty good. They fill them with cream, too. That's a good point. But Nico's has, like, multiple chains. Aren't there, like, multiple Nico's, but they're different? Are they, like, franchised? Yeah. Isn't the, there was a food truck in town, Cowpig? That I oh that I God. think I read that they're opening up uh, like an actual location. The coop, yeah. The coop. Where, mm -hmm. So, t tell me, really? do you do you know about the Cal Pig food truck and everything? Yes, I think Cal Pig has the best burger I've ever eaten in my life. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I cook. love Cal Pig. I think it's really good. It, so this started as just the food truck around university, and and now they're you said the, they're opening the coop, which is mm -hmm. where? Where's it going to be? On Fourth. Mm. It's where the low. The low down or the low was something like that. Oh wow! So they may be making, uh, they may be making their entrance into our Munch Munchy Madness next year. Mm -hmm. Now that they yeah. they're going Division One, they got <laughs> they got a physical location. They're yeah. not playing FCS. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. coop is, the coop is just chicken tenders. I think I don't know if they'll have burgers there or not, but they focus on chicken tenders. What is it about their burger that makes it the best burger you ever had? And is it did you eat it really early in the morning? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. I ate it for dinner. Okay. <laughs> um, they do a smash burger, and they just add, like, I love a lot of cheese on my cheeseburger, and I think it's just so much cheese. And they have a really good cow pig sauce that's kind of, like, spicy. And I, I don't know. Just everything about it is just so good. I don't know how to describe it. I if love it, man. You like a lot of cheese? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I wasn't twice her age, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's the best, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. Jamie, is there is there a, a restaurant that is not on – this list, or any of the lists, I should say. We can go back through uh, that you think should have made the list. I guess cow pig, but that's a truck. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> um, we could have food truck region next yeah. year. Or just For a Mexican food, food truck tournament. I don't yeah. know. I feel like you guys kind of got them all. I was not best. according to our Twitter poll. <laughs> Everyone oh. was like, where the hell is this? <laughs> I'd like to just throw in one that's... Near and dear to my heart, because my father worked there as a very young man, and it was a, before Mendedito, there was La Fuente, or El Fuente, La Fuente. La Fuente was on uh, Stone Avenue before you, like, north of downtown. Mm -hmm. It was the, one of the best, and it's not open anymore, but the, you can still see it's still there. The building's still there, and it still says La Fuente. Mariachi bands. Uh, what is that? Like in South Park, Casa... Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita. <laughs> there is a Casa Bonita, by the way. Yeah, you got to make reservations way in advance to go mm -hmm. that. But if there was a Tucson Casa Bonita, it was La Fuente. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You seem really interested. It's so hard to take <laughs> I'm you. twisting my hair. I know. <laughs> I'm twisting the wig. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Twisted McTwister. Yeah. yeah. If you do that, you're going to lose all your hair, Justin. Maybe I should that. Maybe that's why I should wear the wig. Maybe you should actually do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about sitting farther from him now, so he doesn't twist mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you obviously love football. Uh, do you? Are you follow other? You follow basketball, baseball. Mm. You said you're a Mets fan. Yeah, I kind of have a, a weird relationship with baseball because my sister, my older sister, played softball like all of her life so every weekend we spent it at a softball tournament and so it became yeah. like the bane of my existence yeah. um you could have just gone gone for a run yeah right yeah, I should yeah. have. <laughs> <laughs> no one yeah no one ever wanted to come to my yeah. races yeah. it was only 30 minutes yeah. um if you do cross country and you put ear pods in and like listen to music to pump you up is that like performance enhancing drugs i never i don't think we ever had got to run with AirPods. you can't do it no that sucks. but i mean in practice i would yeah yeah 
Okay, I'm sorry. So baseball, <laughs> weird relationship. So like, because, I, uh, it's just very long and boring. But like, I I can watch. Like I I was telling Justin, I have I'm going to the South Point game, the Nogales and South Point game on Friday. Oh, those my, are always good. My cousin um plays baseball and he's really good. Um, so, but uh, b- basketball, I've never been a huge basketball person. No. Mm-mm. So if I asked you UConn, Alabama, oh, yeah. Purdue, I North Carolina <laughs> State. I wouldn't know. I guess I only really watched the Wildcats, and then they they lost. They, so. they did. I heard that it was all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I heard. I heard something about that. We won't, yeah. we won't go into it, but it was all these the, fault. No, no, a stop l- it. It was a little bit. Not even a little bit. By I did my own, part. By we were karma. close. By no, your, shut up. You deviated. No. Do you have like a certain like like superstition that yes. you didn't do? He's oh. got all of them. Oh my gosh, he this guy every, is a maniac. He has every single. My one mom day. is like that too. I'm insane. And your mom would agree. <laughs> it matters, though. Yeah. So we were down seven at halftime. I got out of my seat. I, st- I stood in the tunnel. I put more weight on my right leg than my left leg because we were going right to left. And I crossed my arms with my right arm over my left arm. And we made a run. We went up a point. I did my part. <laughs> <laughs> they needed to take it home from there. You know, if we make, like, two more threes and maybe two free throws, the game is – we are in the final Literally, four. Literally, Umar Balo goes any higher percentage and we're in the final four. But Umar Balo played a great game. He played he a great game. Play but he missed, like, seven in a row. From six. The, from the Only line. six. He was one for seven. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. how much did we lose by? Seven. <laughs> 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 we, we, going back to food real quick, oh, yeah. uh, Jamie, we have a list of honorable mentions that didn't make it on the list. Yeah, and it's massive because Tucson's awesome. Of these restaurants, which which are your which are jumping off the page to you? Mm. There's a bunch of them. Time Market for pizza. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to Time Market in a while. Um, I've never even heard of like half of these places. Locale so. is good. Locale. Yeah, great pasta. Dio Pepe. Great I love their Bedia pizza. Justin we were hard too. pressed not to put that one on here. Well, it's not up to us, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was the fans that voted. Mm-hmm. Yep. Trans right. fats. I love trans fats. It's what is really trans fats? Good. That sounds like something you don't want in your body. <laughs> it's like a. Um, no, his an, name is trans. Yeah. Straight up. Like an Asian food truck, and he does like um, barbacoa dumplings, I think. Oh, wow. And he has like really good potato mochi. Where are these food trucks? Do they? Do you have to like follow them, on, and you got to follow them or where they are at. He's always at Hotel McCoy, mm-hmm. for the most part. Uh, Hotel where's Hotel McCoy? McCoy? That's off. Is that the one off of the freeway? Where down by like the the ten or the ten twenty second? I think freeway, so. uh, Star Pass area. Mm. No, 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 no. I think it's. Uh, I want to say it's off of. Well, it's right off the freeway, but it's like Star Pass and twenty second, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's off Star Pass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cereal grillers. They're gargantuan, gargantuan cheesesteak Gar- sandwich. Gar- gargantuan, <laughs> gargantuan. It's got every, anything that cheesesteak you, that you think of, onion rings, bacon, fries, all in the sandwich. Man. It's uh, absolutely outstanding. They have a good, uh, I think they have a good pastrami sandwich. You gotta, people will got to think about putting fries in sandwiches more. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it's right there. It's right <laughs> yeah. there. You know, we've already done with a burrito. <laughs> right Tremonti Brothers burrito. does it. It's like, it's like you it's know, it's all they, going the same place. Might as well put it together, right? But it's yeah. like the you know when you, you ask a question, so and the solution know, is see the look on his eyes? right in front of your face, <laughs> right? It's like, how can I make this better? Look like Mike Singletary. Now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> look like he's about to run through you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Your starting quarterback is right there. <laughs> So obvious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I, don't know, I don't know what we would have put it in the list for, but the parish rules. It the does. parish is amazing. The parish is really I good. Yeah, love the parish. You guys never been to the parish? No, I've been, been to the there. Parish. I had their. I, they have frog legs, right? Yeah. yeah, they were good. What? The frog legs are mm-hmm. amazing. Have you ever had frog legs? No, dude, they're like sinewy chicken wings. They're great. Yeah, they, right. they were good. Yeah, they're amazing. They got good jambalaya. Yep, they got. I mean, it's I like if you the, like Southern New Orleans style yeah. food. Um, and the parish in the commoner, I think, was run by uh, a couple, a husband and a wife. And then I think they separated, and one runs the commoner, and one runs the parish. And if you like to like do like really fancy cocktails, commoners, mm. they're really good at that. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Get the drunken angel of the parish. It's amazing. <laughs> you guys want to make a uh, hour overtime two hours? <laughs> I was to say, we got to get out of here. Ask Justin about best fried chicken in Tucson. Oh, man. <laughs> How much time do we got? This is our show. <laughs> in, the, in the same breath as all. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got to get out of here. Well, maybe we got a few minutes here. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Yukon, Alabama, North Carolina State, and... Uh, well, we're talking about food, so give me the give me the big man. Give me DJ Burns, mm-hmm. NC State. NC State over Purdue. You over think he can guard Zach Eady? And UConn is going to win. So we got UConn as a defending champion against NC State. NC State's cutting down the nets. No way. You're out of your DJ, mind. DJ DJ Burns is cutting You're down the nets. You're out of your damn mind. And you want to bet? I'll give you us, like no, I'm not, five I'm, to one odds. I'm not betting on that. Plus 500 for you. But... I'm trying to advocate for for the big man, the vending machine, the vending big machine. vending machine. DJ, vending DJ machine. Burns. This guy is a a little portly, and so mm-hmm. obviously Justin has an immediate affinity for him. <laughs> uh, he's built like a left tackle, and he also and he's a owns, darling in college basketball. He also <laughs> owns vending machine. He makes some money on the side by owning vending machines, stocking them, and hmm. basically very, you know, enterprising young uh-huh. man with a really good personality, <laughs> much like Justin, <laughs> <laughs> and great hair. Thank you. Yeah. Great hair. Yeah. The sweet tomato. You talk about me Mr. or? Sweet tomato. <laughs> yes. Mr. Sweet Tomato. Well, I think uh, UConn's going back to back. Yeah. And I think it's uh, destined to be UConn versus Purdue. Yeah. And by the way, if you think about it, Umar Balo probably played Zach Eady just about as well as anybody this year. Yeah. It would have been really fun to have, have a chance to have a rematch with Purdue. No doubt. Shouldn't have gone to the game. <laughs> All right, we'll see who's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He deviated. Shouldn't have deviated. I went to games. If I didn't go, would that be a deviation? (laughs) Fuck off. I did everything I could. (laughs) Uh, Jamie Donnelly from This Is Tucson joining us here on Spears and Ali Overtime. Uh, Jamie, you do do fantastic work for This Is Tucson and the Arizona Mm -hmm. Daily Star. And I'm not saying that because you wrote a feature on me and Ali being on Bar (laughs) Rescue. Um, I need to read that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Did you? How'd you think of our our acting skills, our on stage, on camera presence? Whoa, just Great. take it easy, man. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think we all need to go get caramel white Russians. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten so much shit for that. They're like, dude, why did you order a caramel white Russian? I'm I would have like, ordered the same thing. I was instructed to. They said try to order oh, really? a beer. They're gonna say they don't have beer available, and then you order a caramel white Russian. So they can make it all creamy and... That's not true. He's like, you know, <laughs> I really want a caramel white Russian. And I'm like, what are you for? <laughs> you guys yeah. are like, <laughs> you know what sounds really yeah, good? Yeah. <laughs> caramel white Russian. My, my son was like, you know, Dad, when you say something and we know you're just kind of joking and you're not really being... Like, that's not your sincere <laughs> reaction. Yeah. He's like, that's exactly the way it was when you're like, you don't have draft beer? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? It's like, it's like really? <laughs> The only thing I heard was more of the sports guys being the secret agents and less of John Taffert and the, the, and the bar. <laughs> just show us that it got rescued. We want more Spears and Ali. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I heard. <laughs> yeah. You're on the ground. Did you guys have to eat the burger? No. No, no. he wouldn't let us. Oh, no. Okay. In fact, I was really surprised because we did order and other people had food in front of them, and he walked out in a tirade. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. was like, you know, when somebody is so mad, you go like, like it kind of <laughs> eyes get big when your sibling gets yelled at by your parents and, yeah. you're, and you're in the other room like damn no, well, I mean a lot of Ali and I were older siblings so we were always like <laughs> yeah finally <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay we're back <laughs> we back we're back <laughs> yeah back in the game yeah. back in the game but you know it's just like holy shit I mean so he was like absolutely he was the lunatic and he's like Put your fucking plates away. You started taking food from people. You, I cannot in good conscience let anybody eat. You are not getting food. I mean, literally. And I'm like, that was pretty, he was livid. And I'm like, they didn't show that. I'm like, that that's great TV, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I would think it's great TV. Mm-hmm. They, they did show him mad. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, whoa, this is a little dramatic. No, he was so pissed off. You're going to kill somebody. And it, it, yeah. was, it was genuine. It was genuine, too. Yeah. I mean, because it was, I mean, you saw it. I mean, their meat mm-hmm. was brown. Their walk-in was like 85 degrees. Yeah. Got a cockroach on the floor. <clears throat> no, yeah. Just a stand, sitting there. <laughs> Thank God it was on the table. No draft beer. <laughs> but I, I got to tell you, Jamie, I, I pride myself on being like somewhat kind of a funny dude. And uh, so we walk into the bar and I'm like, hey, everybody. 
<laughs> celebrating ce- celebrating this night for my buddy Justin Spears. Just lost his virginity tonight. Oh my Bartender, God. can we get two drinks? <laughs> and I'm like, that's going to do awesome on TV. And they're like, they cut it out. No. Nope. <laughs> and and ev- everyone started laughing, and I was kicking myself because when I left that day, I was like, damn it. I should have said, yeah. And he he was terrible. <laughs> I should have just Uno reversed your card or, or Uno reversed card your ass and just like oh my gosh yeah I lost my virginity but let me tell you he he was bad yeah that would have been good man the things you think about eight months later yeah. I know I'm like, damn it why damn did it. I say that <laughs> oh shit but no Jamie does incredible work uh, please uh, go to this is Tucson's Instagram account they're always posting stuff there uh, you can go to this is Tucson.com some of the work gets uh, put on uh, Tucson.com and it goes inside the Arizona Daily Star. So uh, Jamie does everything. If, if you're, um, you want to be informed about, on everything that's going on in the food scene, Jamie's got you covered. Can I make a recommendation since your yes. employer is so bad at covering professional sports in Tucson? Because <laughs> I guess, you know, <laughs> let's write, let's have five reporters write on the same team huh? because, you know, I'll hurt somebody's feelings if they got to go cover the Roadrunners or Sugar Skulls. <laughs> so if you ever want to go to the Tucson Convention Center, I don't know if you've ever had their donuts. It's cash oh, only. Really? Yeah, it's cash only, but the donuts are pretty spectacular. Yep. I'm going to have to try that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you like talk to the Sugar Skulls or the Roadrunners, and they can get you a credential. So yeah, you can get the we'd game be happy just... to accommodate you. Uh, it's just that, you know, right now your editor's on the bad list. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, why not? Why not just stick everybody at the U of A and just cover the same shit over and over again? Because I need four opinions from sports writers on Umar Bala's <laughs> free throw shooting, you know? One doesn't suffice. <laughs> and then, hey, I know. I'll write about it in the paper, and then I'll post it online, and then I'll get on X, and I'll post this. I'll type the same thing. That's what we do, man. That You just described our job. I'm not talking about you. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll put a, a link to, to Jamie's work in the YouTube description. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you do a great job. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. It was very exciting. <laughs> and sorry that you're a Jets and Mets fan. Okay. You deserve better. I chose you that line. Better. You deserve better. So what happens if the man of your dreams comes in your life and he's a Bills fan? How's that going to work? Oh, man. Ooh. Or a Patriots fan? That's like yeah, being a Laker fan and dating somebody who's like a Celtics fan or a Clipper fan. I don't know. It's going to be rough. This is the demise of the Bills, now that yeah. Stefan's gone. This is, this is, this is, the window's we closed with hope. Stephon Diggs. <laughs> we yeah, you can only – now that Bill Belichick's gone too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What if <laughs> – I mean, is the man of the dreams in your in your – in your life right now? <laughs> no. Okay. Man in your dreams comes in. Successful, funny, loves all the same things you do. His name is Mike Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> is that his son? <laughs> You're not sure. You You're know. not sure. Um, do you ask? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an interesting Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. I like that answer. This yeah. is Mrs. Yeah. Jamie Belichick. Yeah. Are you related to that Belichick? And he, his answer is going to be like this: I'm off to the mashed potatoes. Yeah. No, I'm just on, I'm just on to the mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be interesting when I beat up his dad on Thanksgiving. <laughs> 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 All right, Spears and Ali overtime presented by Tucson Federal Credit Union, the Volpe team at Nova Home Loans, and Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Again, check out Jamie's work. Jamie Donnelly Jamie Belichick. Donnelly. <laughs> JDB. JDB. <laughs> At Tucson.com, this is Tucson.com as well, and also this is Tucson's Instagram account. We'll be back next week. Appreciate you guys for listening and watching.